Okay, so now we're gonna write a function to check and see if the strings are different by more than three characters. So what's the logic? How do I go about solving this problem? Well, first of all, we gotta remember both strings, if they're not gonna be off, right? They gotta be the same length, okay? The same character account. And then we want them to, yeah, we want them to be the same character count. And then what we want to do is each time we iterate, we're going to iterate. And as we iterate, we compare each element to the next element in the other array, right? We do a side-by-side -side compar comparison, which means in array one, the first element is compa compared to the first element in array two. And we keep iterating through. That's what we have to do. And then we take a count all the way up to the point where once we hit three, then if we hit three, then true. I mean, up till we hit, three, you know what I'm saying. If you have less than three and equal or equal to three, then it's true. Otherwise, it's false. So again, we're writing the function to check to see if the strings are different by more than three characters. Okay, now, I'm sure some of you can already figure this out, but if you can't, follow me. So first, are, are strings different? Strings different by more than three. Okay, so I'm gonna have one, S1 string, S2, which is a string, right? Turns a Boolean, okay. So now that we have this, I'm going to say, I'm going to have a variable diffs, right? Zero. I'm going to increment this every time I find one element doesn't match an array in another element, okay? Well, first, I need to check, see, make sure that they're both the same length, right? Guard S one dot count count equals S two dot count else return false. Right. And now that I have this S one dot count, then I'm gonna say lads. Um, R array one. I want these both to be arrays, right? Instead of strings, right? That's S one. Let R two. Let R2 equal array S2, right? And then I'm gonna loop. But instead of doing a loop for item, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do for I in zero to the to the end of the count, right? This is a little different. I in zero dot dot less than r1 dot count right now that i have that i can say if sorry if r1 sorry r1 Oh, I hate when that does that. 
R1 is not equal to R2. Right. Yeah, I was about to say, I thought that was going to be an error. So um, I'm going to increment the diffs. Or I can say diffs equals diff plus one, either way. And then I'm going to return this. Diffs are less than or equal to three. I'm going to say true, else false. By the way, this is called the ternary operator. And basically this is like, if this is the case, Return true, else false. And so now, I'm gonna say our strings, let's see if I'm going to say uh, Machiavelli, right, Machiavelli, and I'm going to say Machiavelli. Just true, they're the same. Now, if I say just change one W, true. Change this and it's just still be true. And but if I change this, this should still still be true. But then oh, it should be false. Absolutely. And of course, if I make them different lengths, it should be false. So this is how you count that, right? Okay, on to the next.